Hey guys, this is the Phantom speaking and I'm happy to make a video talking in front of camera because uh, I'm a super introverted person and I don't really do this in front of a camera and talking or something like that. Recently, Course of Orion made a video and he talked about making an ambient uh, guitar album in six weeks. I did a comment that I own a lute and I can make an ambient lute uh, album. This is my comment. And this is what happened. Most of people were too positive to what I'm going to do. Making an ambient lute album and you may think it's not easy but that's easy i've done it before yes this is the video you can um, discover it in my channel and this is some parts of my old video of lute or laud which is the spanish name of the instrument meets ambient guitar <laughs> So I'm preparing for making the music, my DAW or Digital Audio Workstation, I wrote my ideas down, is FL Studio, my beloved FL Studio and I really like FL Studio because I made every songs I wrote using FL Studio and I own a Scarlett Solo audio interface which helped me a lot in recording guitar and even my vocals, yes, um, I make podcasts and I may make uh, songs with vocals so that audio interface helped me a lot in making those type of songs or recording acoustic guitars and so this is what I'm going to and I limited myself like Chords of Orion to six weeks or maybe less than six weeks I don't know and five songs exactly like Chords of Orion and each song should have two main tracks two sound tracks and a bunch of automation tracks I uh, even have plans to film how I uh, make different sounds just using only one track and those sounds are independent. That's a trick I learned and I use a lot in my post track compositions. You can check out my band Mangrove Lake Swans, that's a post track band. That's not a band, that's a solo project but anyway, I kinda like that. And as the FX chain I'm going to use, uh, I chose a compressor to two delays. I can change the order of delays and the two reverbs. I may use one reverse reverb, one shimmer reverb, or I may just use one reverb. But I really don't change my FX chain for each song. And the last thing I'm going to decide about is a name for a project. You know, um, you know how I really interested in loot. How I really get interested in loot. I watched the movie by Jim Jarmusch. It's called Only Lovers Left Alive, and uh, most of soundtracks done by Josef van Wiesem. Even in the comments on the Chords of Orion video, most uh, one of people just mentioned him. And I bought myself a lute and you can listen to some tracks I wrote with that instrument. I didn't uh, spend lots of time on Discover How I can write different songs on a lute. So this is my first attempt to write an ambient album, especially with an unusual instrument for the genre. You know, guitar is very popular in ambient and post track music, but lute is not. So I decided to make ambient lute music. 
I hope you enjoy my music. I hope you subscribe to me. Subscribe to Course of Orion, of course. He is my biggest inspiration in making ambient music. And uh, of course, if there was no Course of Orion channel, there was no ambient guitar from the Phantom of Guitar. Please subscribe to me, subscribe to Chords of Orion and like, share and leave a comment and share your ideas with me about uh, the Ambient Loot album. I will make videos and I will inform you how the process is going because uh, in the next week, uh, it's not next week, <laughs> it's this week, it's uh, let me it's 12 30 a.m here in iran and it's saturday so this week i have three hard and you know impossible exams <laughs> and i'm going to study for them but next week is when i start working on my ambient loot album so you can share your ideas with me and of course, I use your ideas in my album too. And if you make your own ambient guitar, lute, or any other type of ambient album, please let me know. Till the next video, goodbye.